Hello lovelies, welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing a Marilyn Monroe inspired video. I'm going to talk about all her favorite beauty products that she used and I'm going to talk about which ones you can still buy today. And if you're new to my channel, hello, my name is Laura and this is where I talk about all things vintage. So if you love vintage, then please don't forget to hit the big red button below and subscribe. All right, let's jump right into Marilyn Monroe's favorite beauty products. So the first product that Marilyn Monroe loved is Chanel number no. five. This one is from 1921 and she used to do five drops every night before she went to bed and she also used to use it in the bath. And there's some new advertisements with her. I think they're from a few years ago and they show Marilyn Monroe wearing Chanel number no. five. And I actually featured this perfume in vintage perfumes that you can still buy today video. And the next set of beauty products that Marilyn Monroe liked was Flint's earplugs. I know this one's kind of random, but at auction, her makeup case was sold in 2005 and there was a pair of vintage Flint's earplugs in there as well as the whole box. So I thought it'd be kind of fun to buy these and I got these ones on Amazon. And this is a second vintage beauty product that Marilyn Monroe wore that you can still get today. And a few years ago, I think it was 2009, I went to the Hollywood Museum and they it's in the old Max Factor building in right in central Hollywood, kind of across from the Chinese theater. I went there with my mom and I really enjoyed seeing all the vintage Max Factor and there's also a little station where it's kind of all Marilyn Monroe's Max Factor makeup that she used and it's kind of talked about her makeup artist and everything. So I went online and I kind of found photos and I found all the Max Factor products that my Marilyn Monroe used and a lot of them you can still buy today. So the first one is the Max Factor Cream Puff Foundation. This one's from 1953. And in the photos at the Max Factor Museum and the actual physical products, it was a really pretty sea foam kind of blue green. Now it's a gold color. I kind of wish it was the old packaging, obviously, because it's so much cuter. And I actually got this one on Amazon. You can't actually buy it in the States, in the United States and Canada. I think it's just in Europe now, but you can still get it on Amazon. It actually has really good coverage. It's more of a coverage powder than, than something to reduce shine. I think I got a little bit too dark but I actually really like it in terms of coverage. And this is the third vintage product that Mary Marilyn Monroe used. And continuing on with Max Factor, I got the Pan Stick Fan Foundation. This one was also a product that Marilyn Monroe used, or at least her makeup artist used it on her. And this one is from 1948, and a lot of old Hollywood actresses used this one. Um, even Joan Crawford and Betty Davis, and they were all and it kind of became popular because I think women liked it, how portable it was, how you could fit it in your purse. It has a very thick coverage in my opinion, which I think was probably good for a woman who were on film because it has a quite a heavy coverage, but it blends quite nicely. I do like the portableness of it and I like how it's kind of still in the same original vintage packaging. The original one used to be white and gold, but I still think it's unique. You don't see a lot of foundations like this every day. And again, I got this one on Amazon, but I did get a shade too dark. And everyone knows that Marilyn Monroe was known for her red lipstick. And apparently she wore five different shades of red. So Max Factor came out with a lipstick collection inspired by Marilyn Monroe. And I think it was five different shades of red that you could get. I happened to find the Marilyn Red. This is the Ruby Red. Um, on Amazon and it's the Max Factor Red. I'm wearing it right now. It's quite nice. I think it's good on a lot of skin tones. I don't know if this was a color that she actually wore in the 50s, but I do like that there was a color by Max Factor inspired by her, so I thought I would get it for the video. When I was researching Marilyn Monroe's makeup artist, I discovered that he loved to use Vaseline on her as a way to highlight her cheekbones and her features. I think Marilyn Monroe also loved to use Vaseline because it was very moisturizing and because she was known for kind of a peach fuzz on her face. I think the combination of the Vaseline and her peach fuzz acted as a soft focus. And Vaseline is actually quite old. It is from 1872, so it's been around for a while and you can still get it today. I personally haven't used it as a highlighter, but it does actually add some nice sheen. So you could even use it as a primer, as a makeup base. So let me know if you've ever used Vaseline underneath your makeup. Marilyn Monroe was also known to use Nivea moisturizing cream. Apparently, I think she must have had really dry skin because it seemed like all the products she used are very moisturizing. And as you can see, I have been using Nivea quite a lot. I used to use it all the time when I was a child. And then I kind of stopped using it for some reason. I don't know why, but because of this video, I went and bought Nivea. Now I'm hooked on it. It's actually really good. 
and it's amazing on my hands. I love it. It's just so moisturizing and I find that it works so much better than any other moisturizer. So I'm hooked on Nivea and the company is found in 1882 and Nivea came out in 1911. So it's been around for a while. My theory is if a product's been around this long and people are still using it, it must be good. And I think Nivea works amazing. So I'm hooked again. I'm a new Nivea fan. I also discovered that Marilyn Monroe liked this foundation called Daydew. This one is by Anita of Denmark. It's a very heavy foundation. I actually ordered some on the website to try out. The website's very odd. It almost looks like I wasn't sure if my order was going to go through. But I wanted to get the foundation for the video and it has a very good coverage actually. And again, it's very moisturizing. I think the coverage is better than the Max Factor Pan Stick Foundation in my opinion and I just it matches my skin tone quite well and I even emailed them to confirm that Marilyn Monroe did use this foundation and they said that this was the foundation that Marilyn Monroe used so I will link their website below so you can check it out and the last two products that Marilyn Monroe used are Erno Laszlo and when you look at her crime scene photos there are pictures with these jars in the background so it is confirmed that she used it and a bunch of these jars were sold at auction in 2005 with her other beauty items and the two creams that she liked the first one is formula 39 it actually used to be formula 38 and that one was made specifically for her because she had a scar on her chin that she wanted to fade and it worked for her and then in the 2000s erno laszlo released this cream again and called it Formula 3.9. So this is the cream that was made specifically for Marilyn Monroe that you can still get today. I haven't used this one mainly because I've been nervous. I'm gonna try it tonight, but it's a very thick cream. And honestly, it was, I, they were nice enough to send me a jar of it, but I think it's around 275 US dollars, which is kind of insane in my opinion, but I'm gonna try it. Maybe it's a miracle, so we'll see. But I have been using the other cream. I actually went through one jar already. It lasted maybe around two months. I think I was using too much. I have a tendency to do that with creams. I always take too much, especially for expensive creams. This one is around $130 and it's the Felatil Night Cream by Erno Laszlo. It's very good. It's very moisturizing. I actually really like it and I did notice a difference in my skin. I have two jars left, so I'm gonna continue using it. I just wanna make it last a bit longer because I don't know if I can justify or afford buying it again but it is a really good cream if you want to try it and Marilyn Monroe loved this one as well. So those are all of Marilyn Monroe's favorite beauty products that you can still buy today. Let me know if you use any of these products or if you've tried them. Also I want to make this a series so if you have any other movie stars and vintage celebrities that you wanted me to cover on an upcoming video let me know in the comments below. All right I'll see you guys again soon. Bye!